Hundreds of local citizens pass by the large brick school buildings on Galbraith and Plainfield Roads in Deer Park every day. And inside, hundreds of students fill the classrooms. But few know the interesting journey of this district or of its humble beginnings almost 200 years ago. In 1798, pioneer Daniel Schenck came by horseback from New Jersey to this part of the Northwest Territory. Seeing the land was good, he bought 300 acres for $150. After returning east for his wife and children, he brought them by covered wagon to the place then known as Deer Lick, so named because of a nearby salt spring which attracted game. Schenck was one of the first pioneers of this part of the Ohio country. But soon, others came because with hard work, the fertile land would provide for their families. In 1825, the Ohio Legislature granted authority for school districts to be established. Shank saw the need for a school for the local youth and called a meeting of his neighbors at his home to urge them to support the building of a schoolhouse. Shank told his neighbors that having fine farms was important, but there was a matter of greater importance the bringing up of their children. The neighboring pioneers were in agreement with the need for a school and Schenck donated a plot of his farmland. This land was located in the area across the street from where today's high school now stands. The pioneers cut down the huge trees, hewed the logs, and built a simple log building just 16 feet square. The primitive schoolhouse was completed in 1826 and was one of the first in Hamilton County. The neighboring pioneers viewed Daniel Schenck as the founder of the school and gave him the honor of choosing the name for it. He thought of what the school would mean in the life of the community. Through education, people would learn to understand each other and to know their responsibilities to one another. They would be friends, united in the common purpose of bringing up good children. So he called the schoolhouse Amity, meaning friendship. In just 14 years, the community had outgrown the small log schoolhouse, so in 1839, a larger one-room brick building was erected on the same site. Unfortunately, Daniel Shank passed away before it was completed and didn't see the continuation of his legacy. In 1861, the school board purchased two acres of ground from Shank's son to enlarge the school grounds. They planted a grove of maple trees, making it what many consider to be one of the most beautiful school grounds in the area. In 1871, a new one-room brick schoolhouse was erected on this site, making it the third building to be named Amity. Three years later, a second room was added, and a large bronze school bell was hung in the belfry to call the children to school. This bell, in the 1871 capstone, that sat above the door are the district's oldest artifacts and still hang in the foyer of today's Amity School. By the early 1900s, the schoolhouse was showing its age, and after students and teachers were forced to abandon the building one day because of concerns of the heavy slate roof falling in on them, the community passed a bond issue to replace the school. Land that was part of Daniel Shank's original homestead was purchased from a granddaughter and a new modest four-room building with two grades in each room welcomed students to school in 1907. The capstone on this building read Amity Special School District No. 9. The school bell was moved from the old building and continued to call the local children to school from Deer Park, Rossmoyne, and parts of Silverton. Shortly after, in 1909, the Mother's Club of Amity School was formed. It was very instrumental in the early years in providing furnishings, supplies, programs, and opportunities for the students. Today, it is known as the Deer Park PTO and continues to support our students with various opportunities, such as the Mother's Day flower sale, a father-daughter dance, 
scholarships to senior graduates, and student assemblies such as COSI, to name just a few. Today, other parent groups such as the band sponsors, athletic boosters, and Players with Pride all provide support for our students in a variety of ways. For more than a century, our students have benefited greatly from the support of these active parent organizations. As the community grew and more students entered the district, the building was expanded. For the district centennial in 1926, the East Wing was built, adding a gym, which would be both a school and community social center for generations. The school was officially referred to as the Deer Park Village School at this time. Students who wanted to continue their education beyond eighth grade needed to attend nearby Sycamore or Norwood High Schools. So, in 1936, the community pulled together to support the construction of a West Wing, which became home to the junior and high school students, while the East Wing continued to house the elementary grades. The first graduating high school class was the class of 1938. Several traditions began at the new high school in its early years that continue yet today. The Antlers Yearbook was first published in 1938. The name, which is still used, was chosen to honor the pioneer spirit that settled the area. In 1936, a dance orchestra was organized by longtime music teacher Dorothy Howard. A year later, the band and mixed chorus began. During the 1940s, the high school even had an all accordion band. From these humble beginnings grew the proud tradition of the Deer Park Music Program. In fact, over the years, the Deer Park Marching Wildcats have made qualifying for the Ohio Music Education Association state competitions an annual tradition. With the new high school came sports teams. These were practiced on the lawns around the school building. But since there wasn't space for a football field, home football games were played on a field called the Corn Bowl. It was an area cut out of a cornfield in the area where Dillonvale Shopping Center now stands. Basketball games were played in the Amity Gym, which was less than half the size of a standard gym, which probably made for some interesting games. We've come a long way since then, and today we're proud to boast of many fine facilities for our athletes, including a state-of-the-art multi-purpose turf field, which was built in partnership with the Cincinnati Bengals. Our athletic programs have seen plenty of success over the history of the program. However, a 1977 state baseball championship and, more recently, a 2018 state basketball championship represent the pinnacle of our athletic achievements. A few years after the opening of the high school, another Deer Park tradition began, Parkers. The longest-running variety show in Hamilton County first premiered on the Amity stage in 1947. More than 70 years later, it continues to be a favorite Deer Park tradition with students creating a variety of skits and performing instrumental, vocal, and dance numbers in three performances to packed houses. Elementary students who are treated with a dress rehearsal performance always come away dreaming of the day they get to take their turn under the stage lights. As the village of Deer Park grew, the Amity Building was overflowing with students, and construction of the new Deer Park High School was begun in 1948. The high school students moved to their new building at the beginning of the 1952 school year. Because of the baby boom after World War II, more class space was needed and plans were made to construct two primary buildings to be ready for the 1958-59 school year. Howard Elementary School was named for longtime, much beloved music teacher Dorothy Howard, who is responsible for much of the music tradition of Deer Park schools we observe yet today. Holmes Elementary was named for Albert Holmes, clerk of the district for many years. Within the next decade, the community continued to demonstrate its generous support of our schools and students with the approval of multiple bonds that provided additions and remodeling for all the buildings and a new performing arts center at the high school. Crawford Auditorium was named for Carl Crawford, who began as a teacher and principal at Amity 
and then served as superintendent of Deer Park Schools for 28 years. This beautiful venue is still proudly used today for vocal and choral concerts, dramatic performances, assemblies, meetings, ceremonies, and graduations. As we entered the 21st century, the district looked to options to upgrade or replace buildings to provide learning environments that were responsive to today's learners. In 2015, Deer Park Junior Senior High School finished renovations to the northwest corner of the building, completing the Deer Park Career Academies. This facility was created to provide students the opportunity to pursue careers outside of post-secondary education. Potential career paths include project management, engineering, and sports medicine. In 2016, the community supported the district in combining the three elementary schools onto one campus. Because of the long history of the Amity Building, it was decided to remodel and modernize the existing structure and to demolish the gym and construct a beautiful modern addition about doubling the size of the building. This new school provides for flexible learning, new technology, and an inviting environment while giving a nod to our district's history. The Amity Building was opened for the 2018-19 school year and is now the home of our kindergarten through sixth grade students. The Howard Building was sold to a private school and the Holmes Building now houses the Administrative, Treasurer, and Support Service offices. Daniel Shank could never have imagined when he lit the spark among fellow pioneers to build a primitive log school how far that spark would spread. As our district nears its bicentennial in 2026, we feel great pride in the impact the Deer Park Schools have had on the lives of the thousands of students who have passed through its halls over the last two centuries.